It used to take about an hour to sculpt a cushion in Blender like this, uh, but now thankfully it can be done better in minutes using the new cloth pressure feature, which is what I'm gonna show you. Start by adding a plane, then right click and subdivide it 10 times. Now we need to create a small pocket of air inside. So extrude it up ever so slightly. And then this edge here, we wanna merge. So go select, select sharp edges, and then up here, enable merge. Then when we smash these edges together by hitting S to scale, Z for the Z axis, and then typing in zero, this edge should become one. On to the fun stuff. Go to the physics panel and click on cloth. Then down here underneath pressure, enable it and type in five. If you hit spacebar, it'll start simulating and resemble a vague cushion shape, but it won't interact with any other object until you select those objects and enable collision. Now it collides, but of course it is super low resolution. So add a subsurf modifier and place it above the cloth modifier and note that it will simulate whatever is in the viewport amount. Now, when we simulate it, it's higher resolution, but it also appears heavier. And that's because the mass of the cloth is determined by the number of vertices, which you'd already know if you followed the rest of this couch series. So when you increase the amount of vertices, it goes without saying that you should decrease the mass of each vertex to get the same result. It's just plain mass though. And would you look at that, we have a cushion. Now the reason there's a huge gap right here is that the developer in charge of default values was risk averse. So in the cloth settings under object collisions, reduce the distance by a factor of 15. Then do the same for any collision object under the thickness out of field. Nine times out of 10, this will work fine. But if by chance it doesn't, try increasing the margins slightly or just increasing the quality of the cloth collision settings. Now position and rotate the cushion wherever you want it to fall. If it collapses too quickly, just increase the pressure, which by the way, you can do at any time throughout the simulation. Also, if you see weird distortions, try doubling the cloth simulation quality to 10. It'll be slightly slower, but it'll be much more stable. And once you're happy with it, press Shift D to duplicate it so you have a copy. Then select the original, go to the modifier stack and apply the subsurf, then the cloth modifier in that order. It'll now be a single static mesh. It might look blocky, but if you add a subsurf modifier, it'll look really nice. The last thing that's missing is a seam. So simply Alt select the edge that's right in the middle, then press Alt S to scale this edge loop down along its normal. Beautiful. Wow, that was a lot faster. Then you just need a realistic fabric material. Try for example, this one from Polygon. It even gives you three different colors. Unzip to a folder, then with the Polygon Material Converter add-on, just point to that folder and hit load and you'll have a complete material like magic. In the principled shader, there's a value you've always ignored but can now finally use, sheen. This will add a soft fuzzy look to the Fresnel, emulating the look of real fabric. And if you want to go a step further in your realism, you could take a creases map like this one from Polygon and add it as an image set to non-color data. Add a bump node, connect it to the height field, and then just decrease the distance value till it looks subtle. And that's it. Now just repeat this step for as many cushions as you want. You could even make one of those annoying display home couches with more cushions than anyone could ever logically want. By the way, cushions are an opportunity to get creative with your interior design. So we added this bright orange cushion, which would add a splash of color to a room, like as a focal point. You could also try adding one for visual texture or using an interesting pattern to grab the eye. I've put links to some textures that I found work well for cushions in the description. Or if you want something truly unique, I've also included a link to the fabric generator at Polygon. And now I look forward to seeing all of your cushion renders. If you wanna learn how to make the couch uh, that you saw in this video, there's a full series on YouTube, which you can click up there. Um, or if you wanna see the next step in this couch creation um, and create the throw blanket with the cloth simulator, um, you can click the video beneath it once it is available. Um, but that's it guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.